Coach Steve here and today we're going to take a look at the Zoom app on the iPad and, and specifically we're going to look at how do you schedule an event and bring others into that event. So we're going to take a look at that. So here's the iPad and uh, we've got the Zoom app up and running. So you'll need to uh, go to the App Store or the uh, to Google Play and you'll need to get the Zoom app and then you'll need to install it and create uh, an account because you need to be an account holder in order to invite people to a meeting. So we're going to click on schedule here and you're going to get this basic box. So you're going to be looking at things that when's a meeting going to start, when's it, how long is it going to be, all of that stuff you can complete. You're also going to see uh, require password is now a default uh, and that's fine, you want that, uh, and um, you can send that to folks. And there's a, some advanced options which we won't cover today, but that's the basics. So we're going to go ahead and click, uh, and we're going to click done on that. So what will come up now is your calendar event. So in my case, um, I use uh, iOS, so this is wanting to add something to my Apple calendar. And it's saying, hey, you're going to have this meeting at 4 o'clock, and here's a bunch of information about the meeting and at the bottom there's actually information about what will be sent to people who get an invitation. So you can click on invitees here and actually then send them an email inviting them. We're not going to do that here. We're going to do this manual uh, and we are going to demonstrate how someone would come into the meeting. So let's we're going to click this and say we're going to cancel this uh, but we are going to add this. So I'm going to click on add here and add will add that meeting to my set of events. So if I look now under meetings, I actually have this meeting scheduled. So let's take a second and let's start this meeting, see what happens. So it asks if I want to use internet audio, which I do. And now um, I am logged into this meeting. So there's not much to see there. Uh, and uh, if I start my video, which was one of the options. You actually have an option to set in, in that invitation to turn your video on automatically. I didn't. So now you're seeing my iPad video. So let me turn this off. So now you're seeing me on the iPad. And um, we have a number of options. We have uh, participants and we have turn the video on and off and the audio on and off. Uh, one option we have here called Zoom gives us information about the meeting. So uh, this is where you could look if you said, oh, gee, I forgot what the password is and I've got somebody and I want to send it to them or whatever. You can get that information here. Another way to do that is to go over to participants and you have this uh, in the lower left, this option to invite. So let's say we want to invite somebody and we're going to send them a message. So we'll do that. And we're going to send a message to, uh, let's see, we're going to send a message here to yours truly and we're going to send that. Uh, the reason we're doing that is we are going to go and take a look at that uh, over on another uh, another Mac in just a second. So let me go ahead and get my messages up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move over to here. Uh, and here's a, I, another computer I have running in the background. And we're going to click on this link. And it's going to say this is what your user would see if they used that link and they didn't have the Zoom app installed or running. So it says if you have it running, go ahead and launch the meeting, otherwise download it and, and run it. We're going to actually click this launch meeting and when it does that, it says if you can't download or run the application, you can click and use your browser, which is what we're going to do here. So uh, here we go. We're going to go into this meeting and we're going to go Coach Steve and we're going to say I'm not a robot and we're going to join the meeting and it's going to let us because it knows who we are and now it says hey um, you know I don't know uh, we've let you join the meeting but we don't know if coach Steve wants you to join or the, if the host let's say me uh, wants you to join so let's go back and look again at this and if you look here, we have, uh, hey, we've, we could go look in the waiting room and we would just see me, or we can admit. So we're going to admit. And we admit and we get this blank. We, we now become a small icon and we get this blank screen. Well, we get it, the blank screen, because over here I have not started my video. So if I go ahead and start my video, now if we go back 
And we see here that we now have the video from uh, my, my uh, PC or Mac here. And that's the stuff you're seeing from the side. So that's the guest. And then the host is me down in the, in the right-hand corner. So I know it's too much of me to look at. But at any rate, that's how you would go about doing this. So uh, options you have here. Something that's good to do, uh, first of all, you can take a look in, at lots of different things. You can look at change of view to the uh, Brady Bunch view here, uh, and that's handy. And you can also go ahead and look at participants. And let's say that I need to leave the meeting because I'm hosting, but I've got to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and s uh, I could go and make Coach Steve the host, I could make him a co-host. I could chat with them directly, could put them back in the waiting room. So there's lots of options here as you click on this. The other one is that you can, um, at the bottom here, you can invite other people. You can report. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, and you can ask all to unmute or you can mute all. And mute all is very handy, especially when you get someone who goes ahead and uh, has a barking dog or is washing dishes or has kids screaming in the background and it's cutting off your main speaker. So you want to be able to go ahead and do that. So that's kind of a handy thing for you to be able to use. So there's lots of little options here, but basically you've gone ahead, you've, you've invited or scheduled a meeting for a certain time and you can start it before that time. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be at that time. Uh, another option you have, well, let's just go back here and end. We're going to end the meeting for all and we're going to go back home. Um, other options you have if you want to uh, start a meeting right away, you can click just click new meeting and it'll use your personal ID if you want or generate a new one. So you can again send that link. You can do the same things, but this shows how you can schedule it and it also shows how you can create an, a new meeting. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, let me go back to our main view here. Hope that helps out and uh, if it does, Go ahead and, you know, click a like. And if you have comments or questions or, you know, I'm using a bunch of different technology today to put this all together kind of live. Um, I'm just learning how to use it all. So bear with that. And hopefully this was useful to you. If so, go ahead and consider subscribing. It's not a big deal. I just kind of like to be helpful. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in another video down the road. So long.